Hey everybody, well, let me get you in the frame better here. Um, that wasn't better. <laughs> this here, uh, it's time for another smoke detector unboxing video. Um, I've been doing a lot of these recently and I, I really like them, so I'm hoping I can keep up the trend. This one is actually a package sent to me by a good friend of mine, who's also a fellow uh, smoke detector collector. I guess I could just... Uh, paper off. I've been trying to lacerate myself. I know this is the highlight of each detector unboxing. Just watching me either struggle not to cut myself or struggle to open the package. We're getting there. But yeah, anyway, this was sent to me by a collector, a fellow collector, Leah Woods. Um, she has a channel um, that I will link in the description. Um, but I traded her something, and she gave me this. So I'm going to open it up, if I could ever. Ugh. There's like a... Another piece of tape here. Whatever. There, I. Spent way too long worrying about the tape. Okay. I don't want to sink the knife in there too deep because I don't want to damage. unit inside. That's probably dangerous. I probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I'm just moving all over the place over here. Okay. Now the knife can go away. Pull another sharp knife though. Anyway. Ooh, shredded paper. Okay, so somewhere in here. I don't want to get this everywhere. Here it is. Ah, uh, yes. The Pyro Pyrolarm Guardian. Oh, you're not even in frame. The Pyrolarm Guardian FB1. The original FB1. Now, if you remember from my video of the FB1A that I have, and maybe even of the Sunbeam, I had said mentioned that I wanted the original FB1. I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, just wanted to make sure it was nothing else important in there before I threw it away. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up the, the box. And there's still pieces of paper everywhere. The vacuum in here, anyways. Oh, and it's upside down. Oh, that's the way it comes out. Okay, so there's your manual. Mounting hardware is in there, and oh, we got a I'm not sure what this is. Some very old paper that's got handwriting on it. Guardian FB1. Something bedroom ceiling battery. Went on smaller protector. Weak on plate. Downstairs bedroom ceiling. I don't know what that means. Um, so th this meant something to somebody. I'll show, show you that in greater detail. But here's the unit itself. Put them aside. Um, actually, let me just clear off the space here really quickly. And let me get you down from the uh, chair there. So here is the unit itself. It is quite a bit larger than the original FB or the than the FB1A. Sorry, this is the original FB1. And I have my FB1A right here. Here it is. So you can see, yeah, the, the, the original one is a fair bit larger. It's actually a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Um, pretty interesting. Um, it's not that bit bigger, that, that much bigger than the FB1A. 
um, but the the vents are the the vents are the same, but they're smaller and closer together on the FB1A. Um, now the FB1A has the test button right there, which you remember in my other video. I have a battery in it. Um, this one, the original FB1, does not have a test button. This right here is a actually a flag um, that it is warns you, warns you when the battery's been removed. So um, yeah. Now the bracket on the back comes off here, I think. If I can get it off. And so here's the label on the back. Residential smoke and fire alarm. Uh, model FB1 by Pyro Alarm. Now this was of course made by Cerberus Pyrotronics. Um, under Pyro Alarm was like their residential smoke detector brand name, and Guardian was the series, I guess, model name of the smoke detectors. Um, now that might be a date code right there, 77, 1977, very possible. Um, all the stamps there. Very cool. Um, now you also might recognize this design because these were rebranded by Sunbeam. I have my Sunbeam right here for their Sunbeam Centurion series. I forget which model this one is. This one is the 45-21. Um, there's another model that has a test button on the front here. Now I'm not sure if there's a version of the Guardian that has a test button on the front there, but I don't know why that, that would exist because they had the FB1A that has a test button, so who knows. Um, so let's see. Um, I guess we'll go through the manual first here. So here is the manual. It's a pretty cool picture on the front. Well, FB1 battery powered. Table of contents. Oh, it's one of these types of manuals. So, if you want to read anything, you can just pause. Oh, it, that looks like there's the, yep, the lies. I think that's a Mallory Duracell in there, pictured. Yep, it is. There's the warranty information. Baker Industries. Huh. I wonder if that's like the distributor or something. I don't know. And this is the return for the warranty registration. The warranty registration card and California State Fire Marshal are actually attached to the manual, which is pretty nifty. And this one's dated 1976. Uh, copyright 1975, though, so... The manual is a fair bit older. At least this version of the document. And then here's that handwritten paper uh, that I don't know what it means. It has nothing else on here. Um, actually... Printed in USA, catalog number, and then, I don't know what that is, 369, date code maybe. So, now let's go ahead and get a battery, if I have one, somewhere. Yep, right here. Got a Duracell. Um, let's install the battery. I don't know if it's going to chirp or anything. Nope, nothing. Now... See if I can't get the battery in there. Might need to do this with two hands. Oh, there we go, I got it. So that's what it looks like when the battery is installed. It holds that battery flag up there and it's spring loaded, so if there's no battery in it, it will stay out. And when the battery is in it, red flag is not visible, so it shows you that it's working essentially. Of course, it doesn't matter if the battery's in there and disconnected or if the battery is dead, but, you know. 
All right, so I'm going to attempt to test this unit now. Um, I'm going to go and get, I think, a couple matches um, and see if I can't get this, get this one to sound. Okay, we're going to attempt this. I've got a couple matches here. These are big matches. So hopefully these will set it off. Oops, I just kicked the chair. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, that was a lot of smoke. And it's pretty loud too. Um, yeah, that's a really got really good sound. I like that. Pretty sensitive. So yeah, um, that was a successful test. So I think that may be about it for this video. Oh, I completely forgot to show you guys the box of the unit. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, here is the front. It's like a Similar to the GE, where they have the picture of the family and the fire fighters in the house. Um, the side. This side, which is the same as the top. And then this side, which is the same as the other side. And then the back, which shows you... What is it? Looks like... This is the same stuff that's in, like, the end of the manual. So, yeah. I'm not sure what that Baker Industries, what their relation to Cerberus Pyrotronics or Pyralarm is, um, but very interesting. So, um, yeah, that is... I think that's about it, guys. So, I will see you guys in the next video. There's one more thing that I wanted to do. I... Back when I originally got this smoke detector, the Sunbeam Centurion, I never made a testing video of it, and I said I would, and I, I just never got around to it. So we are going to test this unit. I have tested it before, like, not on camera, but we're going to test it for the first time on this channel in the, I don't even know how many years I've had it now. Hopefully it's still as sensitive as the FB1. Whoa, that bracket came off. Ah, and the thing, the flap thing came off. So this is a disastrous test. Come on. Oh, there's a little bit. bracket back on see this thing this thing's a lot this it, it's held on by little sticky pad things and they've lost their adhesion over the years I'm probably gonna have to glue it back on or s s use some other stuff to stick it back on um, put the bracket back on so the sunbeam works as well um, a little bit lower pitched than the the FB1 um, but they both have the exact same horn there it's the Kobishi CLB 27 uh, brass squealer um, and the circuitry is very similar to the FB1A. Um, I think the sensor is actually... The sensor may be a bit larger in the FB1. But I think it is the same basic design. So yeah. Um, so that is... That's everything I have to offer for this video. So um, that is the unboxing, testing of the Pyralarm... Guardian FB1, as well as a test of the Sunbeam Centurion uh, 45-21, I think it was. I, I can't remember. Whatever. Um, and then it, as well as uh, touching on the FB1A. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, again, a huge shout out to Leah for sending me this unit. I'm very happy with it. I've wanted one of these for a long time. And now I'm after the hardwired version, which looked exactly like this, it was model FRU-2, 
and it had an LED like on the base here, an LED indicator. And if they had one with a test button, I'd like to find that one as well. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching and more to come.